Hey, 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 welcome everybody. Thank you for joining. How are y'all doing tonight? <clears throat> I am Jason Wallace. I am a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. I am uh, going to be flying blind with here without uh, egg drop tonight. So, uh, as the comments, we'll have to keep uh, we'll have to keep track of them. Thanks for the invites. <clears throat> Thanks for the invites, follows, and shares. You guys are awesome. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice. I am a prayer warrior, an intercessor, a Bible reader, a devoted husband and father, a child of God. I am a new creation. You invited more than one person. <clears throat> That's so funny. Ah. <laughs> oh, dear. <clears throat> All right. At Periscope Alliance, it does. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So I am a saint. I am God's workmanship, created in Christ for good works. I am a citizen of heaven. I am a proud member of the Jesus Did It family. And um, if you guys get a chance after this, yes, this is live. Maybe. Could be. Could be. And if you get a chance after this broadcast, if you wouldn't mind going over to JesusDidIt.org, you can take a look at the website. And uh, you can see right there where the red arrow is. Uh, if you click that, click the download there, you can um, download all the affirmations. Those are all the sheets, <clears throat> all the um, the verses um, and the affirmations and verses that correspond with them that tell you who you are, who the Bible says, who Jesus says you are. Um, so definitely give that give that a look at. Also, while you're there, take a look at the scripture, scripture thought of the day. Looks like the words are in Greek. Yeah, well, you got to go there and actually read the words. That's so good. <laughs> the, um, also, you can check a look at the, uh, uh, check out some other broadcasters who broadcast under the hashtag Jesus Did It. So check it out, JesusDidIt.org. Um, <clears throat> let's see where we're at. All right, guys, Bible reading. Let's get into this. Tonight's Bible reading is from Joshua, chapter 10. And um, if it ever decides to start, or not. <laughs> I'll flip it over to the other screen if we have to. It's a long one. Hope I don't yawn too much. Oh man, my stuff's not working tonight. How do you like that? It is not working tonight. It's, we have a faulty Bible reading. <laughs> faulty. <clears throat> faulty Bible reading. Oh goodness. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Maybe I can get the jump start here. Let me hit uh, change something and then hit save and see if that does anything. Or not. <laughs> well, let's uh, go back to this one. We'll see if it starts back up again. I don't know. We'll try it. I don't know if you can hear me. Hopefully everybody can hear me. Everything's good. Oh, it's denied. That's all right. So we're going to put the webcam on, and we're going to bring that forward. Just give me one second, and we will move to the top. Oops. I'm all bad tonight. Bring to the top. All right, give me one second, and... Because it's not playing well tonight at all. Hey, how's it going, Lisa? Thanks for joining. All right, well, <clears throat> let's do this. Hopefully this will be a little bit better. All right, guys. <laughs> um, sorry, my, my uh, screen's not real scrolling, so let's just uh, we'll read from the Bible. <clears throat> just like we normally do. Hey, uh, Rachel, thanks for joining. A little long tonight, so let's get into it. Uh, the sun stands still. Now Adoni Zedek, the king of Jerusalem, heard that Joshua had taken Ai and totally destroyed it. Doing, doing to Ai and its king, as he had done to Jericho and its king, and the people of the Gibeon, had made a treaty of peace with Israel, and had become their allies. He and his people were very much alarmed at this, because Gibeon was an important city, <clears throat> like one of the royal cities 
It was larger than Ai, and all its men were good fighters. So Adoni Sedek, king of Jerusalem, appealed to Hohem, king of Hebron, Piram, or Heb Hebron, Piram, king of Jarmuth, uh, Je Jephiah, the king of, yeah, right, Lekish, and Debir, the king of Egl Egl Eglon, Eglon, come up and help me attack Gibeon, he said. Because it was because it has made peace with Joshua and the Israelites. Then the five kings of the Amorites and the kings of Jerusalem, Hebron, Jeremoth, uh, Lachish, and Eglon, joined forces. They moved up with all their troops and took up positions against Gibeon and attacked it. The Gibeonites sent word to Joshua in the camp of uh, Jagal, uh, Do not abandon your servants. Come up to us quickly and save us. Help us. <clears throat> because all of the Amorite kings from the hill country have joined forces against us. So Joshua marched up to Jagal, or marched up from Jagal, from Jagal, <clears throat> from Jagal with his army, including all the best fighting men. The Lord said to Joshua, Do not be afraid of them. I have given them into your hand. Not one of them will be able to withstand you. After all, after an all-night march from Jigel, Joshua took them by surprise. The Lord threw them into the confusion before Israel. So Joshua and the Israelites defeated him, them completely at Gibeon. Israel pursued them along the road going up to Beth Horon and cut them down all the way to Azekah and Makeda. I'm probably not saying all of that exactly right. As they fled before Israel on the road down from Beth Horon to Azekah. And the Lord hurd hurdled hurled large hailstones down on them, and more of them died <coughs> from the hail that were killed by the swords from the Israelites. On that day the Lord gave the Amorites over, over to Israel. Joshua said to the Lord in the presence of Israel, Sun, stand still over Gibeon, and you, moon, over the valley of a uh, Aphelon, so the sun stood still, and the moon stopped, till a nation avenged itself <clears throat> on its enemies. As it was written in the book of, of uh, Jashar, the sun stopped in the middle of the sky and delayed going down about a full day. There has never been a day like it before or since, a day when the Lord listened to the human being Surely the Lord was fighting for Israel. Then Joshua returned all the Israel to the camp of Jigel. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I need a drink. <clears throat> and I'll check to see if egg, egg drops work. All right, so the five Amorite kings were killed. Now the five kings had fled and hidden in a cave of Mechadeth. Mecca, Mecca, da. And uh, when Joshua was told that the that there that the five kings had been found hidden in the cave <coughs> at Mechadeth, he said, "Roll large rocks up on the mouth of the cave, and post some men there to guard it. But don't stop. Pursue your enemy. Attack them from the rear, and don't." Let them reach their cities, for the Lord your God has given them into your hand. So Joshua and the Israelites defeated them completely. But few survivors managed to reach. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, managed to reach their fortified cities. The whole army then returned safely to Joshua in the camp of Mecca, and now no one uttered a word against the Israelites. Joshua said, Open the mouth of the cave, and bring those five kings out to me. 
So they brought the five kings out of the cave, and the kings of Jerusalem, Hebron, uh, Jer uh, Jermoth, Lachish, and Eglon. When they had brought these kings to Joshua, he summoned all the men of Israel and said to the army commanders who had come with him, Come here and put your feet on the necks of these kings. So that they, so they came forward, and they placed their feet on their necks. Joshua said to them, Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Be strong and courageous. This is what the Lord will do to all the enemies you are going to fight. Then Joshua put the kings, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> put the kings to death, and exposed their bodies on five poles, and they were left hanging on the poles until evening. At sunset, Joshua gave the order. And they took them down from the poles and threw them into the cave where they had been hiding. At the mouth of the cave, they placed large rocks, which are there to this day. The southern cities conquered. The, that day, Joshua took Mechada. He, he put the city and its king to the sword and the totally destroyed everyone in it. He left no survivors. <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sneezes. Um, he left no survivors, as he did the king of Mechida, as he had done to the king of Jericho. Then Joshua and all Israel with him moved on to Mechida from Lebanon and attacked it. The Lord also gave that city and its king to Israel's hand. The city and everyone in it, Joshua put to the sword. He left no survivors there, and he did it to the king as he had done to the king of Jericho. Then Joshua and all the all Israel with him moved on to, from Lebedah to Lachish. He took up positions against it and attacked it. The Lord gave Lachish into Israel's hands, and Joshua took it on the second day. The city and everyone in it was put to the sword, just as he done to Leb Libna. Meanwhile, Horam, king of Gazir, had come up uh, to help uh, Lach Lachish, but Joshua defeated him and his army until no survivors were left. Then Joshua and all of Israel with him moved on from Lachish to Eglon. They took up positions against it and attacked it. They captured it the same day and put it to the sword and totally destroyed everyone in it, just as they had done to Lachish. Then Joshua and all of Israel with him went up to Eglon to Hebron and attacked it. He took the city and put the sword to, uh, together with its king, its villages, and everyone in it. They left no survivors. Just as at Eglon, they totally destroyed it and everyone in it. Then Joshua and all of Israel with him turned around and attacked Debir. They took the city, its king, its villages, and put, it, and put, the sword, and put them to the sword. Everyone in the city was totally destroyed. They left no survivors. They did to Debir and its king that they uh, that they had done to Libna and the Lib, Libna and its king and to Hebron. So Joshua subdued the whole region, including the hill country, the Negev, the western foothills, and the mountain slopes, together with all their kings. He left no survivors. He totally destroyed all who bre who breathed, who <laughs> who breathed, breath. I don't know why I'm not reading that right right now. Just as the Lord, like <laughs> just as the Lord, the God of Israel, and had commanded, Joshua subdued them, subdued them at Kadesh Barnea, to Gaza, 
and from the whole region of Goshen to Gibeon. All these kings and their, and their lands Joshua conquered in one campaign, because the Lord, the God of Israel, fought for Israel. Then Joshua, Joshua returned with all of Israel to the camp at Jegel. Ooh, man, chapter 10, done. Wow, that was a long one. Wow. I'm surprised to have anybody left here watching. 15, that's pretty good. Hey, Angie, thanks for joining. All right, guys, every night, you know every night, every night we read the Our Daily Bread. Our Daily Bread is free publication. You can get it from odb.org uh, website, and um, um, you can get an electronic copy, or I think they'll even give you a, um, hey, hey, I got no egg drop tonight, so I might have missed some, some comments, guys. If you, uh, uh, if you had some comments, I'm sorry. Um, looks like, uh, you're not Joshua. You're not Joshua. Not sure what that might kill. <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, for Wednesday, I'm going to get to bed, man. I got to get up early, a little bit earlier than normal. I got to go over to, um, I got to go get early. Hey, Liz, thanks for joining. Um, I got to get early because, uh, I'm supposed to meet Larissa, um, the grateful chick tomorrow morning for, uh, for a, uh, a quick, uh, stop on their way to Cleveland. So, um, they're driving from Rochester to Cleveland. So yeah, we're going to get some good rest tonight. Yep. So here we go. Let's read this for Wednesday, July 5th. Could I say that is the title and a title and, and it is written by David McClasland. Uh, the perception of favoritism is one of the biggest, uh, it's one of the biggest factors in sibling rivalry, said Dr. Barbara Howard. Oh, we will, we will. I'm going to scope it. So you guys be ready for tomorrow. Uh, said Barbara Howard, Dr. Barbara Howard, a developmental behavioral pediatrician. When parents have a favorite child, NewYorkTimes.com. An example would be the Old Testament character, Joseph. Who, uh, <clears throat> sorry, who was his father's favorite son? which made his older brothers furious. So they sold Joseph to the merchants traveling to Egypt and made it appear <clears throat> that a wild animal had killed him. His dreams had been shattered and his future appeared hopeless. Yet along Joseph's journey of life, he chose to be true to his God and to rely on him even when it seemed to make his situation worse. After being falsely accused by his employer's wife and imprisoned for something he didn't do, Joseph struggled with the injustice of, of his situation, but kept trusting the Lord. Years later, his brothers came to Egypt to buy grain during a famine and were terrified to discover that their, that their despised younger brother was now the prime minister. But Joseph told them, Do not be distressed, and do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here, because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. It was not you who sent me here, but God. Huh, interesting. Joseph's kind words caused me to wonder, if I would be ready for revenge, or would I be gracious because my heart had confidence in the Lord? That's a really good question. That's a really good question. Um, the, the prayer for today says, uh, Dear Father, give us the faith to trust you today, and the ability to see your hand of good along our road of life. Amen. Uh, the footnote says, In the darkest hours of our lives, only through the eyes of faith can we see the loving hand of God. That's a good one. Today's reading was from Genesis chapter 45, verses 1 through 11. And the key verse was from, from Genesis chapter 45, verse 8. It was not you who sent me here, but God. All right. Good reading tonight. Man, that's good reading tonight. Definitely. It's good reading. All right. So, 
That's a good story. It is a good story. And then the way he presented it, too, you know? Freed you years ago. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Lots of uh, comments here. So, yeah, it was not who sent me. That's right. It's the same thing, right? Just, um... With a lot of things in life. You need teaching on the 12 tribes. And me too. <laughs> um, there's lots of them. We're learning about them. That's what we're doing, right? We're, um, that's what we're doing by reading the Bible here. So, um, that's it. Shama. Let me see here. Am I following you? <clears throat> I am following you. Perfect. Yeah, we're uh, so that, that's what we're doing. That, that's why I'm reading. Um, that's why I'm reading these um, every chapter a night, because um, if we don't read, uh, if we don't read the word, we we definitely get the uh, um, we we don't know the history, right? So you know, I may know a lot about Jesus, right? And I may understand that, but if I don't understand what happened before that, right, and how it got to be. And uh, then you're, you know, you gotta know your history, because uh, if you don't, you're fish, you know, you will definitely, uh, you'll definitely fail. So that's a, uh, that's a definite thing. Who do I have in here? I have Raina in here. I mean, I'm, I am blessed right now. That's right. Context. You must understand it. Um. So, definitely, and I'm having a hard time. I'm, I'm struggling. I'm just like Rick. <clears throat> Got no. Uh, the word reveals God. Absolutely, absolutely, and. Um, I know I'm blessed to have uh, some great people in the broadcast tonight, um, and as well as everybody else here. You know, I really love that you guys um, stick around with me and stay up late to uh, to hear the word. You know, um, I don't know. Is Reina is that guy on that one that was talking earlier? Because I I wouldn't want to share it with it until unless uh, you know the story that I was going to share with him if he's not on. Coach is in the house. Hey, Coach. What's up? I don't see that guy here. He's not here. I don't see him here. <laughs> Losing my voice for some reason. It's kind of uh, interesting. Yeah, I don't see that one guy here that was asking about that. Um, um, he wanted to know about um, um, lust and how to... Uh, you know, how, how to break himself away from it. So, um, wanted to talk to him about that, but, uh, maybe he'll catch the rebroadcast. I'm not sure. So, when you're, um, let me make sure there's no other comments here. Okay, we're good over here. Yeah, I don't see him here. So, yeah, hopefully he'll tune in. So, you know, um, yeah. So, um, so what what we have to understand is one thing, right? If we're have, we're struggling with um, with that, um, and I'm gonna call it an addiction because it really is. You're struggling with an addiction of of, uh, of of lust or porn. Um, trying to break that is definitely a hard thing to do, and um, <clears throat> all I can say is that um, through lots of um, keeping yourself away from it, as well as um, prayer, and um, you want to keep it, this in your mind. Okay, whenever you do stuff like that. If you look at uh, naked women, or you look at other other things, um, when you do that, um, it 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 skews your mind, right? And it definitely gives you a different view, um, the worldly view, of how um, of of what you what you think um, sex is, right? And so then, when you eventually do um, have sex, it will um, You'll be you'll be let down. It's a big disappointment because it's not it's not really what it is. And so um, 
I'm just going to take this out, out of something that um, that was um, explained to me, and uh, I really think about it a lot. You know, um, you know, it has to do about marriage, and it has to do about uh, waiting for for the time um, to be with your you know, to save yourself for, for that time, for when you're married. You know, uh, God created marriage as an example of the relationship um, that um, basically shows you salvation, right? It shows you what, um, because the two become one, and it shows your salvation. And um, you know, it's just an example of that. And if you, um, you skew that, and um, you're not truthful with it, you could definitely destroy, you know, your your thought or your thinking, and um, you know it really messes with your mind, and it could affect you in your relationship and everything else like that because you're always trying to achieve something that is inachievable, right? It's something that's not, um, I don't know. It's like you're trying to get that that uh, that that beautiful person there and and that's not in reality you have a beautiful person and um, you just because um, the way the world views things and the way that it, it puts things out there you know we can be um, we can be directed differently and it definitely does not, uh, it's, not it's not the best way and so um, and even if still, even if you are married, even if you are doing struggling through that, you could, um, you know, divert yourself away from it. Um, it's not easy. I'll tell you right now, it's not easy, as it is a very lot of temptation here. There was a point where I almost, um, I almost deleted uh, Periscope because of it, and all the social media stuff, because it felt it was too easy to fall <clears throat> to fall into the trap. So. Um, um, I'll pray for you if you, if you want me to. Anybody who has it, send me an email, um, and I will uh, I'll pray for you because um, um, and if you want to chat about it, we can talk about it. Um, but I'll pray for you about it because it's definitely something. Always says to pray for people you're watching because it kind of makes you. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, definitely, you know, and if you guys, you know, if you don't want to, if you don't want to do it out in the open here, send me an email, and I'll, I'm, we'll, we'll get some dialogue going back and forth, and, um, you know, we can talk about it, so, definitely. If you guys have any prayer requests, or praise reports, or anything like that, definitely throw them up there. Egg drop is still down. I'm not sure what's going on with those guys tonight. They are down. <laughs> And I don't see any more comments over on Busca. I see maybe someone watching Chris Barnett. I think. Thanks you for joining. You got healed. You got healed. How you got healed, Ryan? I missed something. I'm sorry. So this. Uh, Can you watch? That's great. It's great to hear, man. It is great to hear. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for healing. Bald Matt, thank you for joining. At pain going to church. And you left pain free. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Sorry, for some reason I'm losing my voice tonight, so that's good news, good news. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Man, I look like I'm tired. I gotta get to sleep. <laughs> How, uh, anybody else, any more praise reports or um, prayer requests or anything like that? 165 viewers. High Point Church is truly a church that believes in miracles. Amen. Amen. That's some good stuff. Good stuff. Yep. 
Maybe you can stay till you reach 200. Yeah, I could. I could definitely. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> it's not going to take that long. I'm at 169 now. That's pretty good. All right. Man, egg drop is down hard. It's not working good at all. <clears throat> so yeah, we um, and and if you do, if you have any, if you have any prayer requests or any questions or anything like that, yep, almost there. So I'm good. If you um, if you don't uh, you don't want to share with it in the public, you can definitely um, send me an email at my email address there. I um check my email usually once a day so that's um that's usually uh a good thing that we do so i'm trying to download a video off of my phone so i can show you something but uh i may not get to it <clears throat> because my phone's not showing up <laughs> awesome 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 we well, have a good night too man and uh and rest in that in that healing. That's definitely good news. There's the iPhone. Have God bless. Hey Birdo, thanks for joining. Share, retreat, invite. Yep, thank you, thank you. Um Yeah, welcome aboard. We're um we're just kind of winding down, we're doing some prayer requests and praise reports, so if you have anything to um but out there, we can definitely pray for you. You just got done. Awesome, awesome. That's uh, good, good news. Trying to see if I can find a nice video to play here of the trip. Just got back. Just got back from my trip to the Dominican Republic. Sorry about that. It's on the way. <clears throat> Yeah, no. There we go. So we grab a video here and we'll um we'll play a video. Six thirty. Twenty five, six twenty five. Hey, hey, hey. We've got um, six. It's going to be the biggest ones. Six twenty five. I think this is one of them here. We'll see if it plays. I'm not sure if it'll play as well. Let me see. If it plays, I'll put it up on the screen. Hey, Safri Recovery Coach. You know you're here, man. Thanks for joining. Put some talks and go to bed. There you go. There you go. Yep, this video is not playing for me. Hey, what's up, my man Sev? How are you doing, brother? About to go to bed too. Me too, man. I'm I'm almost there. All right, this video is not playing for me tonight, guys. I'll have to download it onto the computer and then we'll try it out. Hello, Stockholm 164. Thank you for joining. You have to work in a few hours. Yeah, me too. I gotta get up and go. <laughs> I got. I'm gonna be meeting uh, Larissa, the grateful chick, tomorrow morning for uh, coffee. Her and her husband. Uh, they're driving from Rochester to uh, to Cleveland, so um, looking for a job. Perfect. Uh, good, good. Wish you luck, my man. Wish you luck. We'll pray for you. <clears throat> Lord, Heavenly Father, we just uh, lift up Seth today, Lord. We uh, we ask that uh, that uh, he he's able to seek and find the job that uh, that will uh, help uh, that will help um, provide for him and be able to. Uh, to uh, be able to <clears throat> provide for him and be able to uh, uh, let him be able to be able to pay his bills and be able to uh, continue to uh, spread the good news of Jesus Christ. So we ask this in your mighty son's name. Amen. I just missed a big broadcast, a big uh, 
a big <laughs> comment. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're uh, indulging in uh, I know that comment <laughs> up there. <laughs> God, goodness. I have a question. My emotions are still unstable because of my mom. Okay. So what, um, what's your question? This goes almost two hours long. Oh, goodness. Woohoo, there we go. <laughs> 202 is a magic number. <laughs> You have to submit completely to <clears throat> you ball randomly. Um, <clears throat> so, huh, how can we do that? You know, if we were to think about it, yes, we're going to pray for you at peace, absolutely. Um, I think uh, I think submitting submitting completely. Right, you're going to have to pray. No doubt. And, um, and, and it's going to be, uh, you're going to have to release it, man. You gotta, you're going to have to cry it out. You know, you may have to, you know, you may have to cry it out. You may have to, to do that. And, um, sometimes it's just going to have to, to let it out. Yeah, it, it is. It's a hard thing, I know. I get it. I get it, man. It's not easy. It's not easy losing losing someone who is uh, that close to you, you know. Um, you know, but um, you gotta have faith, trust that um, that um, you know <clears throat> that Jesus Christ is there for you, and no matter how bad it is here on this earth and how much trouble and how much pain and suffering you're going through now um, the the goodness is gonna be did a troll just pop in? Huh. No, I think that is actually somebody, she's a follower of mine um, yeah Talked about this before. You have sin in heaven. What, 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 what was that? She's in heaven. Yeah, she is in heaven. And you know, you have um, you still have a journey here, right? You still have a duty to do. You know that um, you know, we're not finished yet. We have to be able to bring more people to know about Jesus Christ and know about salvation through him and um, it's um, you know and that's our job so um, I think um, I think what 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 um, trying to find the right words to say You know, if you have faith in that, that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, <clears throat> right, we have to bring more people to know about that. We have to share that news with everybody that you meet, right? And and sometimes just putting some of that stuff aside. No, 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 you're not. You're not at all, man. <laughs> you're not at all. Because you, you're challenging me in an area that's hard for me. So that, that's okay. And, and we're going to pray for you. Absolutely. Um, we're going to pray for you because I think that's ultimately what we need is you, 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 you've got to submit to Jesus Christ and, um, you know, you, you've got to just say, Hey, this is, you know, this is it. You got to pray for it, pray about it, you know, and, um, pain hurts. It does hurt. 
this world is definitely not a place um, that, that is without hurt. You know, we all hurt in different ways. And um, all we can do is pray for each other and get into his word. And he'll reveal the answers to you. And, you know, may, maybe it's something that, that um, you know, like there's certain things that you can do, you know, maybe you can go help out, right? And, um, I'm going to hell because you're, <clears throat> uh, um, I'm not sure what your faith is, so I'm not, uh, I'm not going to answer that. Um, yeah, so we're going to pray for you. Um, Lord, Heavenly Father, we just, we, we, we pray for our friend Seb today, Lord. We, uh, we know that his, his heart is hurting. And he's missing, uh, he's missing his mother tonight. And Lord, we just ask for you to uh, provide some peace and comfort in his life, and let him understand that um, that that uh, the peace and comfort is through knowing you, Jesus Christ. And Lord, um, and, and to know that uh, one day, when the time has come, when his time has come, um, that that he will be rejoined back with his mother again in heaven. So, Lord, we just ask this, that you give him this peace and comfort in his heart. Uh, let him relieve the anxiety and let all the, the pressures and pain go away. Um, let him be in peace and joy, knowing that one day he'll be, he'll be able to spend time with his mother again uh, <clears throat> in heaven. We ask this in your mighty son's name. Amen. And amen. <clears throat> Man, I lose my voice. Here's what happens after I get done cutting the grass. <laughs> I'll end up losing my voice. No matter what, the uh, flow naze is not uh, working great tonight. <sighs> hey, man, that's what we're here for, you know. And if, um, you know, um, just reach out. Reach out to us, you know. Uh, uh, Twitter direct message, whatever else it is. If you're not feeling so good, bro, just uh, hit, hit us up. You know, reach out to uh, any one of the members that Jesus did a family. You know, and um, that's the best way to get a hold of me is through tw uh, Twitter direct message. Yeah, definitely. Reach out to Terry. Reach out to, um, you know, Rick. Yeah, we're, we're all here to help each other. You're Jewish. So am I going to hell? If so, what can I do to stop this from happening? Well... I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's take a census. What, what do you guys think that his answer should be for uh, for that question about being Jewish and going to hell? Because I don't know that answer. I, I know that I know that if I, I I believe in Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, that um that um. Exactly. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Yep. Jesus is the only way. Uh, he said it in the Bible. Um, God's temple was not on Jerusalem Mount. It was over. Over a famous guy. We just read about something like that today. Um, about uh, all those places, but. <clears throat> That's good facts. Um, thank you for sharing. And um, we'll back that up by reading through the Bible. So um, I appreciate that. So, yeah, it, Jesus Christ is the only way. He said it in the Bible. The Bible says it's the only way to get to him. The only way to get to the Father is through him. And it's through knowing him. It's having a relationship with Jesus Christ. So I'm doomed then. No, you're not doomed. You doom. There's no doom. Nope. All you need to do is just believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Say those words. Jesus Christ, you're my Lord and Savior, and I want to have a, a relationship with you. <clears throat> I want to pray to you, Lord God. Yep. You always make a different decision. Absolutely. You can always change. But uh, decide to have a relationship with him. That's all you got to do is just say. 
your, your pedestrian. I'm glad you walk. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Um, Jesus is calling. He is. He is. He is calling. He'll really. He'll reveal it to you. He will. It may take you. Uh, some people like me. You know. Um, I knew. I knew of of Jesus. I knew all these stories. I knew all this stuff. But, but I never had a relationship. It took me forty years to my fortieth year of life to actually open my eye, open my eyes and see that um, that I was missing a piece. <clears throat> yep. Isaiah fifty three. Yep. The um. I was missing a little piece that um, that relationship with Jesus. I didn't have that before. So here I was thinking that I was, you know, doing the things I was supposed to do. And um, Jesus is a hoarder. Okay. Thanks for sharing. Come again. Um. Because huh. he saves the oh. Oh, I get it. <clears throat> kind, of, it's kind of random. <laughs> um, <laughs> very random. <sighs> oh boy. All right, things are getting silly. I'm getting tired. I gotta get up early, guys. And we're getting close to my shutdown time. So. All right. Keep me, Jesus. He won't ever throw me away. No, he won't. No, he won't. Alright, guys. We're going to shut it down. Lord, Heavenly Father, we pray for um, those who are not saved tonight, Lord. We ask that uh, that they seek out the truth. The truth that, um, that you, Lord Jesus Christ, is the only way to get to heaven. Knowing you. Having a relationship with you. Sharing your, um, sharing our, um, our thoughts, praying to you about the, about the things that we've done, turning away from the bad that we're doing and removing ourselves from that, turning away and, um, seeking to be more like Jesus. So, uh, or we just ask that, that, um, that, that, that the people who are not saved today, Lord, that they do seek you, Lord. And um, let them read the stories that are in the Bible that show what a perfect example you were, uh, Lord. We, and we, we thank you for being that Savior, for being that, that Messiah, that, that one who came to take away all of our sins. Lord, we thank you for this. There's no other person who's ever conquered death. And, and it was you. It was you, Lord. You did it for me and my sins and for all of us who believe. Lord, we thank you for this. So we uh, we ask this in your mighty son's name. Lord, we ask that that you uh, reach into those who are who whose hearts are hardened and their minds are not clear. Uh, let them let their minds be un let their minds be uh, cleared up and let let their hearts be softened and let them understand and know that that the, the only way to get to heaven, the only way to be with the Father is to know the Son and to believe in Him. So, Lord, we thank You for Your Son. We thank You for this time also tonight that we share with all the people that come on the broadcast today. Lord, we thank You for allowing them to be able to spend time with us and to be able to uh, listen to the Word and to share some time to be able to pray for other people. Lord, we are thankful for our friend Ryan who got healed tonight uh, by his church, at his church. Or we are, we are uh, also praying for our friend Sev, who's going through a very tough time. Lord, you know that, and, and we ask that you reach into his life and give him some peace and comfort. Um, Lord, we also uh, thank you for for just uh, giving us another day to be able to share the love and peace that is knowing you. And Lord, we uh, we ask that you give us another day tomorrow to be able to. Uh, to do the same thing over again. Protect our friends and uh, give them uh, just, just give them a hedge of protection until until we meet again. Um, so Lord, uh, we ask in your mighty son's name. Amen. Alright guys, it's been a late night. 
I gotta get up early. I gotta go meet Larissa. Look out for a broadcast tomorrow morning. And we will, um... Arms around. I'm protecting him and his family. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sub. Same to you, man. Same to you. He's there. Alright, guys. Uh, thank you for joining me tonight. Um... I appreciate every single one of you that come on here. And just know that, uh, that I love you. Know that Jesus loves you most importantly. And um, know that every single member of the Jesus Did It family loves you. Check out the website. Go visit some other broadcasters. You will not be, um, you know, you, 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 you will be satisfied. You will not be disappointed by going on that website and taking a look and seeing the other broadcasters. And um, guys, I'll look out for tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll be doing a Perry meetup with Larissa, the Grateful Chick, uh, at uh, one of my favorite places. So I'm going to leave that as being a um, <clears throat> leave that as being a um, a secret till tomorrow, an undisclosed location until tomorrow. So guys, take it easy. I will see you tomorrow. Have a very nice night. And uh, like I said, uh, know that Jesus loves you, and be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>